This is Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this is Oxygen OS running on the OnePlus 6. What happens when you combine both of them together? Let's find out. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Me, why Oxygen OS both have their own fair share of fans and haters, but no matter which camp you fall in, I want to know what you guys feel about this. Oxygen OS running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Love it, hate it, or maybe you're somewhere in between. Either way, let me know in the comments below. So go on, let me know. Okay, so this is a pretty good port of Oxygen OS from the OnePlus 6 and you'd be surprised at just how many things are working perfectly fine here. For instance, the OnePlus gestures, they work fine and we also get the Pi navigation gesture here. So yeah, if you hadn't noticed already, we have Android 9 Pi running in here. In fact, let me just hop on over and show you the about phone section. This struck me as quite funny, Redmi Note 5 Pro being recognized as the OnePlus 6. Anyway, moving on to the other features, we have the full OnePlus launcher here, so swapping to the left from the home screen gives you OnePlus shelf and then you can also swipe from the left edge inside the app drawer for hidden space. Other OnePlus features like theme support work well, so if you've ever wanted dark mode on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, there you go, now you have it. Of course, one of the main draws of Oxygen OS is the fast and fluid interface and we decided to test that out by running some benchmarks. And with a score of 116K, the Redmi Note 5 Pro did impress. It's amazing just how much performance a custom ROM can get out of a device. After this, we decided to try some PUBG and the performance there too was really smooth. One thing worth mentioning here though is this black bar. The OnePlus 6 has a notch display and thus since this is a direct port, we have that here on the Note 5 Pro as well. A minor annoyance but something I felt was worth pointing out. Oh, and you do have an option in the settings to toggle on and off the notch display, but it doesn't help out when it comes to the game. What might though is the presence of Oxygen OS game mode, which seems to be doing a fine job of optimizing the gameplay experience. Enough about performance. Let's now talk a bit about the cameras. The Note 5 Pro already had pretty decent cameras, but the common complaint has been that Xiaomi has not enabled camera to API on this phone. Well, this ROM solves all that, meaning you can now use Gcam and most of its features. Here are a few sample shots that we managed with the new G cam as well as the stock Oxygen OS camera that comes default with this ROM. And here are the obligatory selfies. And what most of you have been waiting for, the night side shots. Interestingly, we still couldn't shoot 4K 30fps video with either of these cameras. So that one was a bummer. Speaking of bummers, let's talk about some of the bugs we came across. The battery does seem to drain a bit quickly and facial recognition doesn't really work. And that's pretty much it. If any of you are using this ROM or want to use this ROM and find out a major bug or even a feature that I've missed, then do let me know in the comments down below. As always, the usual warnings about custom ROMs and flashing, they apply here. Links to all the stuff is in the description below. And if you didn't know already, you need to be bootloader unlocked and have a custom recovery installed before you can get your hands on this one. As far as ROMs go, this one is pretty stable. The performance is great and most of the necessities like the fingerprint scanner or the proximity sensor work just fine. So if you are the adventurous sort, you might even daily drag this one. That's about all for this video. If you have any comments or questions, you know where to type them in. Now it is time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you feel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye. Oh yeah, by the way, Phoenix Mall, 3rd of February, Sunday, Chennai, fan meet, be there.